What can you tease about the time traveling aspect of the upcoming season? And how were you two involved in the search for Eve and rescuing the others? Ooh. So, you know, I think if people have seen the trailer, you'll you'll know that Ty um, finds himself in a new time period. Um, and it's, it's, an, it's an unexpected one, uh, certainly to Ty at the time. And it, it just sets us off in a different direction. But as the North Star of the show, it's always about finding out how the, to get the Harris family back together, how to get everyone back to their families. And so I feel really uh, privileged to be able to be you know, playing the role of Ty and for that to be so much of his mission, to make sure that his friends can find their way back to their families. Um, and that's kind of where we start with this season. Yes, looks yeah. like a very exciting season. Yeah, it is. I think there's, you know, we have, we have six episodes. It's, it's a uh, much shorter season. So there's a lot that uh, they needed to get in with, it, with these six episodes. So I think uh, they did an incredible job. There's a lot going on, a lot of action, a lot of, a lot of drama, a lot of, you know, just a lot of different things going on. And you have a couple different worlds that are colliding in, in ways that we never saw before. And as, as GK said, you know, you see Ty waking up somewhere and, I mean, that that alone, that whole story and, and, and why that's happening is, is something that was a lot of fun for us to play. And a lot of a lot of uh, I think the fans are going to really like that. one. Hello, John. It's always good to catch up with you. And TK, of course, I'm excited to chat with you this time around as well. John, going into this season, where did things stay with your daughter, stand with your daughter? There's always this difficult back and forth the two of you have had and secrets and everything that's come to light where do things stand between your character and her and his daughter these days well i think uh you know it's always tough it's always tough being a father and you know you have a daughter that's uh she's a young adult and 10,000 bc doesn't stop that dynamic from uh from continuing to you know have surprises and I think there's there's uh, some more things that happen this season, and and you know Sam uh, finds himself uh, challenged in a way he never thought he'd have to be, or, or or you know maybe never thought to have to be prepared for. So uh, I think that's uh, that's something that uh, uh, the fans will get to see. Uh, going on between them, you know, he's there's he's he's finds himself dealing with a challenge or challenges that you know he didn't he could not have prepared for. TK, would you now that you're out of uh, La Brea, are you looking for a new position because we're hiring? <laughs> oh, please I'll tell you what, I love the work that you guys do, so I'm a big fan <laughs> of your work. Is Sam or Ty going to have any different? relationships that they deal with this season as they deal with their emotional baggage mm. uh, I can answer the question by saying a very close relationship actually <laughs> say that again John a very close relationship actually right for, for Ty for the both of them oh yeah yeah no you're very right <laughs> you, can, you can speak on that but we can't but you know I was going to say I don't know how to I don't know how to speak on that without giving it away. Um, you know, yes and yes, the great, yes and yes. <laughs> the great thing about this is, is the relationships, and you know, Sam and Ty have built this great bond over the over the course of two or two or three seasons, um, and we have to work out how to create that bond again because of the way the show goes and the timelines, um, the way the the way the timelines work. So. Just that in itself has been was is a is a big challenge and a good one and it was a fun one to play, um, but yeah, for Ty he was having to to build a relationship with one of his best friends all over again, Sam. TK, this season there's a lot of epic CGI work that goes into the show. What was it like for you, or what continues to challenge you about playing these incredible scenes? there's no challenge involved in as much as it's just a joy. It's it's like the biggest gift to an actor and you feel like a kid every day you turn up at work and there's these big set pieces to play and um, you, you get to use your imagination, but it mostly boils down to David Applebaum and his imagination. 
And like John said, with only six episodes, there were like no holds, no holds barred. We just got to really throw as much as they possibly could into the season. Um, so yeah, it was it was a joy. It's, it's the best part of the job is is the fun aspect of who we're running from, what we're running from, what we're running to. Um, and so there's there's plenty more of that in this season. Um, as the trailer shows, you know, to have been in 10,000 BC and work with the creatures in that in that time period. Now we've opened up the gates and there's dinosaurs and all sorts of things to to try and evade.